This is Ian. This is my first attempt at a video, so let's see how it works out. Um, for a long time, I've had interest in renewable energy, electronics, batteries, alternative fuel vehicles, things like that. Um, and although I drive a 2000 model year Gen 1 Honda Insight, this video is actually going to be about a Gen 1 2004 model year Civic hybrid battery pack. Uh, do not try this at home. You've heard it before and you know what it means. Uh, unless you are a trained professional and already know what you're doing, do not attempt anything you see in this video. The battery pack is fully capable of killing you any number of ways. It can put out more than 14 kilowatts of electrical power, has potential for more than 160 volts, and potential put out more than 100 amps. Do not do this unless you actually know what you are doing. It can very easily kill you and do property damage. That having been said, let's see how we do. This is my first video. This here is a Civic Hybrid Battery Pack from a 2004 Civic. Here's a nice danger label from Honda. Don't open it. There's high voltage. It can kill you. Um, this is made by Panasonic. Their serial number is here for that. We have straps for picking it up. We have bolts. One, two, three, and four which connect it into the car and hold it securely in place. On this side, we have air vents which go through the flow of the battery and the other side as well. So the battery, the air can flow back and forth through the cells. Um, on this side, we have the circuit board. And on this side, we have a, uh, a junction board as well for uh, connecting the batteries together. Here you can see the one side. We have one, two, three, four, five points. I've removed them already. This is the last one. There are these little connectors. They have a little plastic and a little springy port. They hold that in place. Oh, and there's a warning label. High voltage chemicals inside, it can kill you. Um, you take that off, it's a little foamy piece of plastic. Uh, and we see the sub-pack rows connected into a junction board. Um, there are 20 sub-packs connected, uh, six rows of three and two rows of two. Here is a um, spacer cell where there wasn't a sub-pack, uh, and you can see all those there. The bolt part is where an actual sub-pack connects in, and then right below it we see a uh, point for a screw connection of the PTC strip, positive temperature coefficient um, temperature strip, uh, where that connects. And everything connects in series um, for all of those. This is a connection point for the high voltage system. Here we have the junction board with the screws removed. There are PTC strips. You can see them bent down here, bent up here. They're thin pieces of metal, so you do want to be a little careful when you bend them up. Uh, if you break them off or snap them, you're never going to be able to use it again. It's a one-shot deal, and I don't know where you're going to be able to buy them inexpensively. So if you want to salvage the pack or reuse it um, in any way, especially those PTC strips, um, be very careful when you bend them up. Here you can see the junction board is taken off. At this point, at most two sub-packs would be connected still in the series on the from the junction board on the other side, which means that we're not exposed to any more than 16 volts at this point. Um, and here you can see the PTC strips are all pointed out. And we're going to zoom in a little. Hopefully you can, hopefully you can now see a little better the uh, Subpacks actually have this hex here and a square here. And we'll see in a minute how that matches up with the junction board on the other side. Um, but you can also see here the spacing between the cells, which is where the uh, airflow goes when it's coming through the pack. Okay. Here we see the uh, panel, the connection junction board removed. And you have the connection points for all of the subpacks and all of the PTC strips and the opening where we saw it for the spacer cell. On the other side, if we flip it over, you can see what the batteries would be seeing. We actually see something interesting. 
uh, we see some squares and some hexagons. Um, and we'll take a look at the subpacks in a minute too. Um, that there's specific shapes to each one. And here too we can also see the connection points for the PTC strips and the uh, connection points for the subpacks themselves for current. Here we see the 20 subpack sticks, six cells per stick. Each one has the hex head on one side, square on the other for polarity. They all have PTC strips. Um, they all have serial numbers uh, and barcodes on them from Panasonic. And these three are the three that have the additional temperature sensors, yellow, blue, and white, uh, attached to them as well. Here we have the board that electrically connects the battery module to the rest of the car and electronics. It has across the top one, two, three, and across the bottom four and a five and a sixth bolts that physically hold it to the battery module. It also has four points, one, two, three, four points that electrically connect it to the battery. Here we have the fuse for the DC-DC system along with the connector to go to that DC converter. This is the fuse for the IMA system. Up here we have the switch for the high voltage disconnect which isolates and separates the pack in half into two 60 cell systems. Here we have the connector which goes to the battery control module so it can read the terminal voltage from the sub packs. Here we have the high voltage high current connection point that goes to the motor drive module. Directly under it is a small capacitor bank that leads off here for a small ground wire. Next to that is our high voltage disconnect relay so the car can electrically isolate the battery pack which is connected to the first connector on the bottom there. The second one up goes to the temperature sensors, three inside sticks themselves, as well as reading the PTC strip temperature sensors as well. And the top one goes to the current sensor here. That current sensor uh, works by detecting the magnetic field generated by the electrical flow from the battery. 